Aren't we all proud to be living in the best country in the world? This country is full of opportunities and choices that can always improve your life and your family's life. 35 years ago, I came to the United States because of this reason. There were many opportunities present. I took them and made a successful life for my family and me. My American dream came true, and I am so thankful to God that I'm here every day. I think today, my country is currently in a civil war of ideas, and we are all suffering from it. This conflict comes from wolf in the ship closing ideas called socialism. And now as government policy keep us separated, our society changed, we distrust each other. America, among other countries, ranked bottom in society index trust. March 2020, Forbes magazine, America ranked 18th place in happiest country in the world. America looks to be on the same process as my home country Korea. Socialism turning into communism. We as Americans have a duty to face it, become one unity, and build a better society for our children. Let's keep in mind what our government is doing. Are we all excited to hear about an additional $1,400 a stimulus check from a new president, Shiro Tembier? USA Today on May 13, 2020, in the age of nearly 25 trillion national debt, such as the sounds money. Concept seems outdated. Don't trust the American government power of printing money. This era sees a mirage and believe it is real. No, it's not real. A long time Federal Reserve critics Ron Paul told USA Today, it is unbelievable. What we are working with now is fake money, fake measuring route. Fed printing treasury bonds purchased by foreign investors kept creating death after death. In the end, our children must pay all back. I have seen what we are going through today already when I was living in Korea. The North and South were suffered by the Soviet Union allied with Red China and the United States into accepting only two ideas, nothing in the middle. Anyone who didn't agree with the one size was wrong and was considered the enemy. What if we are able to communicate? Maybe Korea would have never spread part in the first place. Yet, look at the result of today and you can see the future that weighs us. America is becoming a battleground of ideas with the socialism taking the front of the impact. The idea of socialism is too close to becoming the communism that China embodies. With this new way of thinking comes the censorship of all people. America is the front nation of freedom, yet look at what we are doing with our censorship. We are shutting down other people's thoughts and are too focused on one solution. Look at how the NBA is controlled by China and can only say what China wants to say and observe how government worldwide barely mentioned the genocide that happened with its Muslim population in China. At this instant, the Chinese Communist Party is manipulating people in America. America have an obligation to the world to be the beacon of the hope and country of freedom. However, our government seeks to maintain its power by dividing us with the ideas of left or right. I think too much socialism is the horrible road that leads to becoming a censored country like China while being too right lead us down the road to greed and corruption. So I ask all of you to band together, talk about solution and refuse to be puppet with no room for thought. We can prevent ourselves from splitting between two radical ideas. 
and find unity in the middle. Thank you.